Hello and welcome. We're going to be playing um, Bowler's Gate Enhanced Edition. Body hair is hot. Hot! Stupid hot! Freaking hot! That's why I invented Hayes Extent Technology. A phase evaporation to help keep even the hairiest man cool. Hayes Extent Technology. All right. Fun fact, everyone. I suck at this game. I always have. But I hope you guys get some kind of enjoyment you, from my failure, you sick bastards. Do this. Uh, I don't use random. You have a mail. Kind of looks like Stone Cold a little bit. I already know what I want. Go with that guy. Race. Half orc. Class. Barbarian or fighter? It's hmm. a good question. Good. I can't really picture an orc being anything else other than chaotic. Um. Reroll. Reroll. Good. Skills. By the way, you guys are getting ready to witness one of the greatest soundtracks ever to a game. One of them, or at least one of my favorites. I don't know. Death to you all! Your life ends here. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. You got this coming! Let's give them a right thrashing. I like that. I'll use that for another character when I'm not live streaming. Get over here! That sounds like a half orc. What should we name him? Well, we should name him after my nickname. Kuma. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Damn it! Okay. Now that's a portion that's gonna get edited out. It goes directly to YouTube. Got it good. Abilities. Good enough. Skills. Two-handed sword. Two-handed weapon. Appearance. Black. Skin is fine. Mm 
His name is Kuma. And... Nestled atop the cliffs that rise from the Sword Coast, the Citadel of Kansas. To me, this is still the greatest the finest and most game comprehensive ever. collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your twenty years of life within this keep's austere walls, under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. Right, what's this then? Mm. Yay! Right, right, what's this then? My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. I, um... Don't know exactly how clean that... What else are we talking about here? I'm pretty sure dark elves are not clean. Or drow. I forget they're called drow. Sure, what do you have? Well, you have a two-handed sword. Take it. Take that helmet, too. And... Alright. There we go. Yeah, equip that. You're never gonna use that staff, buddy. And just in case I fuck up somewhere along the line. Right, what's this then? Right, what's this then? Wait, what's this? Oh, hello! Let's be friends! I can take Drizzt with both my arms tied behind my back. If I remember correctly. Have a blade with your name on it. That I am! Do I know you? Oh, you did. I remember now. 
beat the shit out of me. What's this head? Anyway, well, since no one's looking. Yeah. Sorted. Oh, he just exploded into millions of little pieces. Our rules are very strict. Now I don't need a tutorial. I'm a beast at this game. Well, I'm a beast at getting killed, anyway. Um... Buy Moradin's hammer! Thought I asked you to clean the rats out of this building yesterday. Are Already, hop on to it. Get in there. I will. Are you yelling at me? Mouthy little dwarf, aren't you? Right, what's this then? Hammer. Kinda hard not to spend five gold in one. Something on your mind? Later, I'm going to try to find my copies of Neverwinter Nights 1 and 2. I'll definitely do that as well. It's not as good as this, but it's... Hey, decent. yeah! It's me, Emowyn! And don't ask if you knew the answer. Oh, my child, I am glad I have found you. Let's do this. Listen carefully. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the Friendly Arm Inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. Eat not more Yay, blessing! Let's hurry, child. The night can only get worse, so we must find shelter soon. Don't worry. I'll explain everything as soon as there is time. Wait. Wait, there is something wrong. We are in an ambush. Prepare yourself. Hey, ogres? An mercenaries? Man. You know I am an armored figure that I know the name to, but you guys can hide. Sorry that you feel that you way, it. old man. Ow. Dick, you hit me.
especially cruel this morning. You awake with the realization that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed, you saw Gorion cut down before your eyes, and even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. It was his wish that you flee, but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward, the armored fiend had said. He was after you and you alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue. But now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned, the ones at the Friendly Arm. Hey, uh, it's me, Emmowen. Go away! Well, let's go to the scene of the crime, shall we? My blade will cut you down to size. Blade will cut you down the sides, which you not give you a blade. Fun, fun. That old man, an enchanted belt, piece of paper, and a dagger you're most likely not going to use. Jerkwads. Do you already be disturbed? Now leave me be. Your company be toil enough as is. Montoran, you are so aggravating. Tis disturbing to my demeanor. Yeah, fuck these guys. Maybe if I was evil, but. Aiming for a pure good team. Why, hello! Oh. Get off! You dare challenge me, beast of the wild? I could use a little patching up.
Yay! Sister. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. <laughs> Love when they just explode. Not the way I need to go. Beer gust just to the south. I think that's it. Mages sound pretty scary. Hmm. Right, what's this then? Right. Safe because there's going to be an asshole under here. And he's waiting to fuck me up. Hi, friend. Oh my god, fear spells totally suck. Oh, he fucked me up. Right, what's this then? Hi, friend. My blade will cut you down to size. My blade will cut you down to size. Come on, come on. Oh. Well, I'm running around like a bitch. I'm on it. Let's try this again. Hi, friend. Come meet us over here. Right next to this guard.
It's near death. Come on. Oh. Holy ass crackers. Take that. And let's save so I never have to do that again. Friend, good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. Right, what's this then? Calm yourself, dear. We must proceed c carefully. Spit it out. I'm on it. I need some ale. And I'll try to be back soon. Alright guys, uh, for anyone that's watching, please follow me. Um, I will have some more, hopefully.